Hey guys, it's Zach. Uh, I officially today have 14 days under my belt of methamphetamines and uh, I'm fighting this thing. Uh, and like every, like they do say that now people have been telling me every day is going to get better and better and it has I will say that and uh, thank y'all for the support the love to y'all that do write me and, and talk to me it helps <clears throat> anybody else struggling out there I hope you can make you can watch these videos and you know get through it too and know that you're not alone and I'm going through it right now as we speak. Um, so I'm being pretty honest. We put my stuff out there. Try to help y'all understand you're not alone. And showing that it's really nothing to be ashamed of. Um, I've had times where I didn't get the job or something like that. Because of the fact not that you know I didn't qualify. Or I wasn't good enough just because they knew I, I've done drugs before in my past. Or, or you know did them regardless you know I think as addicts we all should stick together lend a hand to one another and help each other through it and you know because it is I don't care what they say it is a sickness you know um but I wanted to back things up a bit because I don't know if everyone knows my full history on on the drug use and so I wanted to take it all the way back. I'm going to try to through this video. Uh, there's going to be times where I'll probably go back and be like, oh, no, I meant, well, or something like that. It's not I'm making anything up. It's just, I mean, we're covering about 10 years right now and uh, actually longer than that. So of drug use and my history and whatnot. So. It's going to be kind of hard, to, and like I said, I've used drugs, so I'm, I ain't got the best memory, you know. But I did want to start off, start out, okay, about when I was, I want to say 8, 12. Now, this isn't the first time I tried it. Now, this is, the first, this is when I started using daily. And when I mean using, I mean just pot mostly and dabbled with cocaine and stuff like that and started off um so I started yeah about 12 years old and this was every day and I hung out what I did was I hung out with my older cousins uh, so that's what they did and I even and then I got me a group of little friends that, that were my age and we still all hung out with my cousins she was older um she also she passed away from her name was sarah brown she passed away for opiates when i was in prison actually and i talked to her the night before and was calling i'll get back to that story but i was calling her and found out in prison that sucks that's one of the most worst things you can do be locked up and then find out something happened to one of your family members especially one that you're really really close to and like i said me and her we were really close uh, but I started smoking pot, 12 years old, dabbling with other stuff, and, and then when I got about, I want to say, I was a straight pothead, but when I, when I was about 17, 16-ish, I started doing, op I meant pain pills a, a lot, and, but I didn't get, really get addicted until I was about, I want to say, 18, and... I, mean, I was a fucked up person then. I was horrible. Uh, I, if it came down to me being sick, yeah, I'd probably, yeah, I'd still. That's that's the only time in my life I ever did anything like that. And uh, so I started with the opiates and lasted. I had to move, what was it? Yeah. And I had a little binge on ecstasy too around that same time. But it was nothing, nothing uh, it was just like little binges here and there. Actually, it was me and Derek. We were on that kind of binge for a while there. But it was maybe for half a year, I want to say. Not long. And But so I get hooked to these pain, pain bills when I'm 18. Now, this is the hardest addiction I ever fought. Well, besides, hell, pot was hard, though, too, when I stopped doing pot. I stopped doing that at 18 because I had a kid. 
I had my kid and I had to get a good job and pass a drug test. So I stopped doing that. I remember that and people don't think it, but pot was one of the hardest things for me to quit. And I finally did quit doing that, but at, but this that's the time I get hooked on the pain pills. It was right after that. So I get hooked on these pain pills, and I remember I got them from my grandma. Well, and I can say this, she passed away. God bless her soul. Um, but I got them from her, and I was getting them. She would give them to me, and then she was like, well, I need to get money off of them. I know you can you, you can get money for them straight. I'd give her for $2. Well, but then she was giving other people them for $2. And I told her, I said, no, look, man, two dollars. These are perk tens. I said, Grandma, I mean, they go for at least eight bucks. I mean, you can get eight bucks from ten if you're being greedy, but I mean, eight dollars. So she, uh, I showed her and proved her that she can do that, and and sure enough, she uh, so she turns around and tells me, I got to start paying. Eight dollars. I was like, "What, Grandma? No, I'm telling. I'm just showing you that she can get this much for him. Now you're gonna charge me eight to ten dollars for him." I was like, "Hell, no!" First she wanted ten, and I was like, "No, that's that's fucked up. Don't you can't do that." She like, "Well, eight. I was like, "Grandma, eight. You're just giving them to me for two. I just didn't want you to get ripped off by nobody else." She said, "No, eight. So actually, you know, me and her." kind of had problems after that because I've been getting them for a while now and then now she turned around and did that to me so when I could have easily in my addiction and I mean that's just the kind of person I didn't want to really fuck her over or anything but I could have turned around and and got rid of them for that price that she's telling me and I mean for two dollars and not tell her or something do some shady stuff but I wasn't like that and I like doing them so I wanted I wanted mine for me I was just telling her you know she can get more than that and I didn't want her getting ripped off so now she's turning around and, and do that to me I remember I didn't know her yeah I, would, I, I, I was fucked up and it didn't give me a right because of that I would I would take them Sometimes every now and then I take some of them or something like that and and I'd still pretty much and I just feel I feel horrible horrible for that uh, If she was here, you know, I told her before I did tell her before she passed away that you know about it and, and apologized to her and boy, boy she was not happy. She was not trying to hear none of that <laughs> but you know, I just couldn't, uh, even though I knew it hurt her, I just, I just and I was in, still in my addiction, I just didn't feel, it didn't feel right, and that was probably one of the worst things I could do, you know, especially because she, she pretty much, she raised me at a, there was a certain time in my life that she raised me and whatnot, and she was like my mom, and... You know, that drug, that, that opiates is one of the worst things you can take. I mean, they, they, that's one drug. That's why I never went back to them. I could do, yeah, I could do a perk 10, maybe the most two time, two days in a row and, or, or, or a few of them and, and never touch them again because I know better. I know not to let myself after them two. There's no way I'm touching them after two days because I'm not getting, I'm not going to get sick again and go through all that bullshit. And that's one drug that I, I'm amazed that I did get away from and could quit, you know. And like I said, that was the hardest. And that happened when I was about 21, 21. I left. I had to leave, too, to get away from it. I left North Carolina, went to Georgia. Well, I'm in Georgia. And I was really... Okay, so I met, I met the girl, this girl, she was my boss. I ended up getting her pregnant. Well, and that's who I got my little girl with. So, I'm in Georgia, around, uh, away from all my family. Nobody else lives there. I just went with a friend. A friend of mine got a job and just went on my own. Stayed down there, uh, met that girl, and then I remember my neighbor... I was living by myself in an apartment. My neighbor, she was an old lady, but she did she did meth. And so she, I go over there. I'm drinking. I'm drunk. 
and you know this was uh, this is what that's how I really got off of the opiates was by drinking so I went down there and started drinking and then my neighbor she was smoking this she pulled out this pipe and started smoking it and well she kind of reminded me of my cousin you know so I mean and she was cool like that and whatnot I mean her talk she was older than me too so and she was a pretty cool lady well she pulls out this pipe and she starts smoking it I'm like what's that I ain't never seen no I mean it was a bubble yeah, I've never I've seen crack pipes, but I ain't seen no shit like that, right? Well, I said, and, and they're, they're, she's rolling it. I was like, God, that, that looks pretty cool right there. Let me try that. And she's like, have you done this before? I said, heck no, but I want to. Let me hit that. She said, I feel so horrible. I said, let me see the goddamn pipe. So she gives me the pipe, and I started smoking it. And I was like, what? This feels just like God, cocaine times 10. Uh, I mean, hell, I hate, I hate really talking about it, really, honestly, because it's like I'm reminiscing, and I don't, I don't, don't want to do that, but anyhow, yeah, and it lasted forever, and I was like, God, and I've been spending my money on coke every now and then, wasting my money, and I'll never do coke again, and, uh, which I, I did a few times, but it was nothing like last resort, or somebody popped up with it, or something like that. Yeah, I wasn't gonna waste my money. Hell, I get me a twenty bag, and that, that hell, that fucking last me. Uh, at that time, it lasted me about four days, and that's if I did it all. Hell, maybe a week. Well, so, uh, I started doing that, and I did it off and home. My baby mama, she didn't really like it. She found out. Here, here I go again with my guilty conscience. I admit to my baby mama about doing it. And she didn't, she don't smoke, I, I really never dated girls that really did any, not that I cared, but it was just like happened to where I never dated girls that really did anything except for my, oh, no, nah, I can't say that, yeah, maybe I did, but anyhow, she never did anything, she didn't smoke cigarettes, nothing, so when I told her that, you can imagine, but she freaked the fuck out, she did not like that, not one bit, and I felt so horrible while I stopped doing it. But I would drink, which was crazy, because she let me drink, and I was a fucking, I was an asshole when I drunk, I was really a horrible, horrible person when I drank, I mean, now I could, I could, you know, have a few beers in here and there, but it's like rolling a fucking bullet in a chamber, and, and hoping you don't catch that bullet, and maybe two of them in a six fucking, yeah, six, six chamber, it'd be like two bullets, just you're rolling yeah yeah you might have a good time but then again you're gambling you might not and so that's why i don't like drinking that i think that's the worst thing for me to do but anyhow so i'm off and on with this man thing not like i'm addicted to it i wasn't addicted to it i just like doing it you know and and i didn't need it i could do it like maybe one day out the week or two weeks go by and then do it one time and you know just stuff like that and then then it did start getting bad to where I was doing it every day and I lost I was weighing like 100 and I want to say 30 pounds and I was horrible horrible looked like shit wasn't working out wasn't doing anything and you know, everybody knew, you could tell by looking at me, I'm sure, but, but even though I was always a small guy, but not that small, so now, I, now this whole time I'm in Georgia, I'm away from all my family, so I'm down there, and that's when I end up, oh, let me think back, okay, when I got in trouble with, okay, I went to prison twice, okay, yeah, Oh. Okay, yeah. Anyhow, I'm just trying to make sure I get this right. Because it's been so long. So, anyhow, I get in trouble. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Okay. I get in trouble down there. And I don't really want to get in detail with that. But I get in trouble and with the law, of course. Not just baby mama. So, I take drug court. All right, now, this is an 18-month program, okay? 18 months. 
Now, this program took me four years to complete, and uh, including like I, I went and did, I did about like a locked up uh, about a year and a half altogether, and and mainly because I think I honestly I think I was I didn't mind being in it. Everybody hated it, wanted to get out, but I actually. It was that was the first time in my life that I went for so long without using anything, nothing. I smoked cigarettes and that was it. I mean nothing, and that was. I mean it was just. I I knew that when I got out that I deep down that yeah of course everybody says oh you take drug court you just. You're just taking drug court to get out of jail. But hell yeah, I think everybody takes drug court just to get out of jail. That's pretty much the idea, right? Well, yeah, and yeah, that's what I did. But and, and I knew that when I got out that I would end up using. I would want to because I still had that. I wanted to. I mean, it, if it had, was in front of me, I could get away with it. Guarantee I would have done it. But and but I was I I, I like my life out was. You know, I didn't mind the officer coming. It'd be three in the morning, banging on my door to search the house, and come in my apartment and 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 look around. It'd be three in the morning, and calling my phone, talking about where you're at. None of that. I mean, I, I I was accountable, being held accountable, and it felt like I actually had somebody that actually really cared. You know, and I like that. You know, more than I do. Uh, somebody telling me not to do it. You know, I, that I can't do it or something like that. Well, uh, this time I'm doing good. You know, that's when I'm doing the best in my life, I think. And me and my baby mom, we end up splitting up. Uh, and so, of course, it wasn't because of the drugs. She'd always, there's always something. There's always some excuse, right? And then I'd fix that problem. Like, one of them was the drugs. And even when I fixed that problem, it just wasn't good enough. And I don't want to bash her or anything like that because she's good good mother she really is and I have a beautiful daughter with her so I'm, I'm definitely not bashing her and trying to um even though most people would and I might have some reasons to but then again she has her reasons for whatever she does you know she's a good woman and for the most part and I'm just lucky to have a baby with her um but me and her we split up in drug court and I'm on my own. So, and I'd get my daughter. I had my daughter all the time. She let me see my daughter whenever she wanted to. And she always wanted to be with me, which was awesome. It was, but going to the meetings, the the drug court meetings. And I was making sure the camera was on my back. And I would have been pissed. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, uh yeah, the meetings and uh, going to court every week and all. Now that that was something that once again it's like going to the gym. It was like you know, once you get there, it sucks and you don't want to. But once you're in there, you're in there, and so I I like that because it helped me accountable and I could and I would do everything I was supposed to. Even if I didn't want to, I did it and it was I had a pretty decent life, you know. Um kind of like a bachelor life that was but it, it was a good time uh especially that i was sober for being sober yeah definitely was and so i do recommend that if anybody ever hears that word drug court or have the, you have to choose you go to drug court or do this i've been in prison to work and and people would ask they'd get the option to, but they would rather go to prison than drug court and let me tell you something no a prison's no no light i mean Unless you like being around other men, and then, yeah, no, it's no life for you, okay? So, but I do recommend drug court. Drug court changed my life. Uh, that was, like I said, there was nothing else in this world that could have made me not do them drugs. Not even prison, because in prison, let me tell you something, there's more drugs in there than there is, uh, like walking to the store, going to the store, running into somebody. You know, I can go to Walmart and find. I can find probably any drug I wanted to. Give me an hour in Walmart, I'll be able to be able to find somebody with it or something. You know, I know how to pick them out. But uh, in, in prison, I mean, it's a, 
you sell, 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 they're doing this and that sell, they're doing this and that sell, you know what I mean, so it's all over the place, and so you definitely can't run from it in there, and it's not much of a life, you gotta have something to take your mind off of things, but some people, and that's one reason why they want to, because they just want, they want that drug so bad that they're like, fuck it, no, just send me, and which is crazy, I was not like that, I, drug court was awesome i mean it's hard work but look i mean that that'll change your life and i mean you'll feel good about it. you'll yeah in the end you'll like it you'll you'll be glad that you took it i promise you that um okay and then what else is i gonna say okay so i'm in drug court and now i get out well that's when i caught that them it was probably a year later when I caught them charges that I told y'all about, like, uh, about, you know, me jumping through somebody's window and all that. So I caught all them charges, went to prison, and uh, went to prison again. So, uh, and then I get out this time. And then now, you know, me and my baby mama, my baby mama don't even, I guess because it was the second time I, I went, she don't even want me to really do have nothing to do with my daughter nothing so i'm stuck down there in georgia no family no nothing my daughter's the only thing i have that's the only reason why i stayed so long and now i can't even see her so you know i was just like what the fuck am i doing here here i am so I, yeah so i start using again and now this is everyday thing. That's all I'm doing. I mean, that's all I could do. All I wanted to do. I mean, I went to work and whatnot. I did go to work. I had my own place, you know. And and uh, I just, I mean, I had nothing else, you know. I really had nothing else. But that was working, and me not being around my daughter. I finally, I was just like. You know, and, 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 and it got to where I felt like, honestly, I felt like I was going to get into some bullshit. I knew it. I kept being around all the people I was, I'd go see to get my stuff from and hanging out with so-and-so. I was going to end up getting locked up again. You know, I mean, that it's, it's a fact or either kill and, and one of the two, either one wouldn't have surprised me, none, but so that's when I'm like, look, oh, fuck. I go to, I go to this building that's supposed to help you and whatnot, and, well, first, I go to drug court, and I go back in there, the world is and I see Miss Jackie, and she says, uh, she says, I'm more than welcome to come back to class, and, and blah, 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 well, I, I had to get sober to go to it, because I wasn't going to go in there fucked up, but, so when I went to go see her, and then she told me, yeah, but I'd be damned if, like, the next day I didn't end up getting high before I could go make it to that class. And that's when I, I hit that point. I was like, well, f I, I got to get out of here. I got to go. I don't have nothing here, you know. Um, I had problems at my work, was, so I ended up losing that job. And I, I, just, I just had to leave. Um... Actually, I think I, 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 I really quit that job is what it was. But, hell, I probably was going to lose it anyhow. It was either that or show my ass. So, but, um, and then, so I called my family members up. And they said, yeah, well, you're more than welcome to come home. So now I'm finally, you know, around or at least close enough to get to see people that are my family and that do care about me and, ha and support me and and now but now I'm still fighting that addiction right because uh, I, I, I was doing good for about three months and I'd be damned if I don't fucking start using again and it might have been yeah, it wasn't quite three months, but almost. And, and I started using again. I, did, I went on a little binge. It wasn't that long. And that's where I'm at now. Now I finally got the strength to stop again. And I'm trying to stay that way because that was the whole point of me coming up here, really, to, to get away from all that shit. Um, 
it's not it's like really I didn't have a choice to but in a way I feel like I just left my daughter you know and it it sucks it sucks so bad because I can't be there to check on her I can't see her I mean right now her mom's not even picking up my phone calls so I can talk to her well, I mean, and it's not like I did anything like that. I mean, she knew what kind of person I was when I got, we got together, so I don't, hell, at least now I'm doing better. I've been doing better. I've been trying, anyhow. Um, but, yeah, now here we are. Two weeks in, finally got two fucking weeks. Awesome. I'm going to keep trying uh, for y'all out there. So you know, see, y'all don't see, you see these videos like Derek says, but you don't see all the shit Derek really went through. Yeah, I mean, that wasn't his first time that he, and he just up and quit. As you can see now, this is my second time even on video. Um, I didn't get to make it that time, and uh, I'm not as strong as Derek is, you know? So... And he's a hey boy, that man's mind, when he gets on something, he gets on it. And that's, that's all he's about is that one thing. I will say that. And I remember the first time me and him met was I was I was in my room. I was smoking a, a, a bowl. It was a weed. Smoking a bowl. And uh, I just lay in bed. And my sister comes in. And she's like, Zach. She says, I got something to tell you. I'm like, what? She says, uh, I'm... I'm I've been talking to this guy. I said, you've been talking to a guy who? I've been talking to this guy. Well, his name's... It, uh, before I say anything, I, I, I'm bringing him over so you can see him. Uh, 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 he's really good guy, this and that. And I'm like, okay. What's his name? She's like, here, there. Uh, well, he's already there. He, he's already here. She's like, yeah, I'm going to bring him in the room. Please don't flip out or nothing like that. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Well, he comes in. And he shakes my hand and whatnot. I'm still in the bed smoking my bowl. And uh, he was good. He was, I could tell. I seen him around in school and whatnot. And I knew he, he was pretty much a good kid. And actually, he was older than me. But he was still. I knew he was a good guy. Um, everything was good on that note. Um, but, yeah, that was the first time I seen him. And... And, and met Derek, I was about 18 then. So, I mean, we do got long history and of other stuff that y'all don't get to see or anything like that. And this I have, this might be, not be the uh, second time. This might be the third. I might be making another video here soon if y'all don't hear from me. And if you don't hear from me, that's you already know something's, something happened. I fucked up, you know. Uh, but that's all I got for tonight, y'all. Uh, y'all, any questions or anything like that, just feel free to write me. You know, I'll try to write back as quick as I can. And uh, I am still hanging in there. So if, if you can, just hang in there with me, okay? And everything get better. I hope it does. God, Lord, I hope it does. All right. All right, guys. Love you guys.